welcome to my channel. So today I am going to be showing you how to create a dupe for the IKEA Alex desk. This desk is a very popular desk that people like to use as a vanity and I think what really made it popular are just a bunch of beauty gurus because it tends to be their background. IKEA is known for selling inexpensive furniture. The Alex desk retails from anywhere between $209 to $219. Like most IKEA furniture, the Alex desk is made out of particle board, which is in real wood. After I did my Dollar Tree vanity desk, I got so many requests from you guys asking me to make a dupe of this desk. There are so many dupe tutorials for this desk, and if you watch them, most of them use the exact same drawers, and that is because the cheapest place that you're going to find them at is Michael's. So the common name that I found for these drawers are letterbox drawers. When I type that into Google, a few websites pop up with it, but the most popular ones were Amazon, Target, Michael's, and Walmart. So the most popular place to get them from is Michael's because Michael's always has sales on them and they always have coupons you can use. Don't ever pay full price for them if you buy them from Michael's. You will get them cheaper eventually. The brand of the drawers is Ashland. I purchased them on Black Friday so I was able to get them for $35 a piece. I could not use a coupon that day because these were one of their hot buys. So if it's like a hot buy, you're not going to be able to use a coupon. And usually on the coupon, it tells you the restrictions. When they go on sale, they're not always a hot buy. So lots of times you are able to use a coupon. I want to quickly review the drawers. The reviews on the website are terrible. The drawers are not as bad as they seem. Lots of the reviews that I saw, people were saying that pieces of their drawer were like chipped or had scratches. I only had one piece that had a tiny little chip, but that was a piece that was on the back. So for me, it wasn't a big deal. And people were saying that the instructions are hard to read, but I didn't find it difficult. When you're assembling the drawers, the last thing it tells you to do is add the wheels. You do not have to add the wheels. I decided to add the wheels because I have hardwood floors. I know in the beginning it looks like I don't. It looks like I have white carpeting. That's not white carpeting. That is just like a throw that I put under the desk. If you can't find the drawers in store, you can order them offline and most of the time you do get free shipping. So I ordered my drawers, like I said, at $35 a piece. So with taxes, that cost me around $75. They're very similar to the Alex drawers, except the bottom drawers in the Alex drawers are deeper. Now for the top of the desk, I went to Lowe's and Home Depot because those are the chains that I know are most popular in the United States. I ended up purchasing my top at Home Depot for only $8. Now the length of this is 4 feet. The length of the Alex desk is 6 feet. This is really when personal preference and your budget comes into play. All of the white pieces of wood that you're going to find at your local hardware stores are shelving unit pieces. They're not real wood, they're usually press wood, particle board, and they're used for making shelving units. Now when I went to all three bigger chain stores around me, hardware stores, I was not able to find a piece like this that was six feet long and then um, just under two feet wide. The one piece of shelving unit that I could find at all three stores that fit this perfectly was four feet long and then just under two feet wide. And again, this is pressed wood, not real wood. If you want it to be six feet long, you're then going to have to probably purchase some wood or have the top specially ordered off of a website. Of course, real wood is really nice to have, but it's a little bit more expensive and you're going to have to sand it down and paint it. And that's what I mean by personal preference and your budget. Now all I did was take my board and place it on top of the drawer. I didn't nail it in. I didn't screw it in. You can do that if you want to, but honestly, it's not necessary. It doesn't really move around. I mean, if you're going to be putting something really heavy on top of this, then I would say maybe you want to nail it in place. But if you're going to be using this for a vanity, I don't know what you would place on top of it. That would be too much weight. And that's how I made my desk. Really simple to do, and I saved $120. I do want to share with you guys the add-ons to the desk. So if you get the board that's four feet long, you're going to have 16 inches of leg space between the two drawers. So you're going to want to get a chair or a stool that's that length. I got my stool for $14 on clearance at Target. It had a wooden appearance on the top and the legs were black. I ended up spray painting it and adding this marble appearance to it. Then I added these two shelves that are on my sides. Now I do have a tutorial for these shelves. These are actually knockoffs of the IKEA lac shelves and I made both of them for just under $25. And unlike this and the actual lac shelves from IKEA, they are real wood. I think they look really nice on the desk and add more storage space. For the vanity mirror, I picked up this mirror at Big Lots for just $22. It's a really pretty mirror for $22. They also carry $15 mirrors that are really nice except the frame that they have, don't mind that this has to be wiped, but the frame that they have come in black and in brown. So I ended up 
spray painting this one white. So that's why you see this right here. I still have to wipe it off. And if you get spray paint or paint on your mirrors, just use acetone and it'll come right off. Lots of the other items you see behind me, I have tutorials for up on my channel already. I'll make a playlist of it and link it down below just in case you're interested on how to spruce up your vanity. And pretty much all of these little pieces I made using Dollar Tree products. So that is it for my IKEA Alex desk. Dude, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I got so many requests for this and I'm so happy that I did this. And honestly, I only did this because of your guys' requests. So thank you because I'm so happy about this. If you like the video, please make sure you give it a thumbs up. We'll see if we can get this video to 4,000 likes. That's the highest I've ever aimed, but I want to aim high because I want to know if this is something you guys want to continue seeing. How to make like different pieces of furniture for a less expensive price. And of course, I won't be using Dollar Tree products to create the furniture because it probably break on you if you try to make a desk out of Dollar Tree stuff. Thank you so much for watching and again thank you to everybody who requested this video. I will see you guys next time. Take care. Bye.